if you're a queen or king, queen, king, put your hands up. If you're a queen, king, put your hands up. Because your girl is back, back, back with another video. So I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm finally doing a weight loss journey video. I'm like, I needed to hurry up and get it out there. Because everyone keeps asking, where's the video? Where's the video? How you did it? How you did it? And I'm like, yo, y'all had to wait until I got to my weight goal. I wanted to do the video when I got to my weight goal. And I'm finally at my weight goal. I went from 135 to 138. Can we just like take time to just like clap? Okay, clap. But I'm gonna just like pat my own self on the shoulder because honestly, ooh, it was so hard. It was so hard. I'm glad that I had the support I did because I don't know what I would have done. I would have done it because I needed to do it, but. It was super helpful to have someone motivating you and supporting you with with that journey and like being like, are you supposed to be eating it? Like, remember your goal, your goal, your goal, your goal. But also you gotta want it for yourself. So anybody can like, I can, you know, tell you guys the tips and tell you guys what I did and tell you, you know, share everything with y'all but if you don't want it for yourself you're not gonna get to your goal you have to want it for yourself anything that's with anything in life anything you want or anything anybody tells you oh this and blah 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 this is how i did this or this is how i did that and you're like oh i want to do that but you're not really like you don't want to do it it's not gonna happen so first things first you have to want it for yourself so if you really want to lose weight if you really want to get to the goal that you want to get to, you have to want it for yourself, not for anybody else. You have to want it for yourself first. Because if you do something for someone else, it's going to be a half job. It's not going to be because you want to do it. It's going to be because they want to do it. They want you to do it. So you have to do it for yourself. Um, so let's get started on how I lost the weight. So first of all, I'm going to tell y'all what I did. And this is what y'all should do okay cut out soda so i drink strictly water soda is terrible okay it got so much sugar like it's insane soda is good though pineapple soda who loves pineapple soda i love i'm a big fan of pineapple soda but i haven't drank pineapple soda in like forever so yeah stay away from soda stay away from juice stay away from like hot chocolate um coffee if you drink coffee you have to drink it black no sugar don't add no sugar no cream no none of that no sugar strictly water i drink strictly water and i promise y'all i'm not lying to y'all this is what i did this is exactly what i did i cut out water i'm gonna tell y'all exactly what i did i cut out water um i did eat carbs but i didn't eat a lot of carbs and i did eat portions of food so if i did eat when i did eat I didn't eat a lot. You can't eat like you're eating a Thanksgiving dinner, okay? You need to have portions. A small portion of rice, a lot of vegetables, not 10, 15 chicken wings. I'm being over, I'm over exaggerating, but not 10 chicken wings, maybe one or two, and that's it. No eating after eight. And, and let me say this too, if to all my people who don't really like the taste of water, try adding lemon drops anyways you should be doing that anyways lemon juice is very good for you and cleanse your insides so add some lemon drops if you don't like the way water tastes that is very helpful and also i was drinking flavored waters so you can also buy just buy flavored waters i bought i had um peach flavor waters lemon um flavor waters that's very helpful flavored waters if, you, if Flavor waters is very good for the people that don't like water, like plain regular water, flavor waters. And I also no eating after eight. You can't eat after eight. Don't eat after eight because you're hitting on all those calories. You're laying on all those calories. You do not want to do that. No eating after eight. You want to eat way before eight and you know, do what you got to do and then settle down and lay down. But don't eat after eight because me, I used to eat after eight. I used to eat, be eating cookies at 12 o'clock in the morning, one o'clock in the morning, eating pizza, like eating junk late at night. And then I would lay down and I would lay down with all them calories on my body. So 
no eating after eight that is something that is a big step to your weight loss journey is no eating after eight no eating after eight no only drinking water and cutting out sweets so those are the three things so far that i did i walked every single day i walked six days a week monday through friday and i would walk on sunday every day i walked every day and the thing with walking is i took baby steps so i would walk so every day i walked for one hour so i walked for one hour and then eventually when i got in the hang of walking every day because i got asthma so i try and take it slow i started jogging so i started walking then i started jogging and then i started to run every day so this is what i mean by baby steps walking jogging running you get it walking jogging then running um and then i tried the water fast so let's get into the water fast and what the water fast is so you only drink water strictly water every single day so i drink water every single day and i'm just gonna insert a couple of pictures because every day i would go on the scale every day i lost one pound when i was on the water fast so these are the pictures of every single day what my weight was this is just a few pictures that i took to prove to y'all i'm not lying because you know you i gotta have proof even though this 138 is proof right now but this is proof that every day I lost one pound with the water fast. And if, so in the beginning, when I first started the water fast, I only drank water. But then eventually I started to eat salad and drink water. So that's what I ate every day was salad and water. And I would get the salad kits that's already made. All you got to do is, you know, put the dressing inside of it and put all the extra stuff that the salad kit comes with. And that's it. And that's all I ate. And then sometimes um, there's these salmon patties. I would just cook that and just put the salmon patties, you know, mash it up and put it inside my salad to add protein, you know, to have protein. So salad and water, and I did that for a while, just salad and water and walking every day. And let's get into belly fat. Um, if you want to lose belly fat, what I did was um, I, you know, put Vicks. I know, hopefully y'all know that hack, right? Vicks or you can use coconut oil. If you don't feel comfortable with putting Vicks on your stomach, then you can use coconut oil and then use plastic wrap. And then I will put my waist trainer on that I got from Amazon. Everything will be, I will put links in the description box below so y'all can just click it and I can make it easy for y'all. So every day I would put the Vicks on my stomach, put it all over my stomach, my back, my hips, and wrap it with plastic foil, put my waist trainer, and put my sweet sweat. I think that's what it's called, sweet sweat. And after my walk, like, I'll be soaking, like, I'll be sweating. And that's the key. If you're not sweating, then you ain't losing belly fat. So you, that's why this hack is super helpful because it makes you sweat, it makes you burn them calories and belly fat. So make sure coconut oil or Vicks is a great hack so that you can really, really sweat out the stuff that you need to sweat out. So that's what I did and that's why my stomach is on flat, flat. Let me insert a picture right here on, on flat, flat, okay? And I didn't do, I wasn't really doing sit-ups and doing that. All I did was wear waist trainer every day when I went walking and did the Vicks on my stomach and the plastic wrap every day. And I walked for an hour a day and that's all I did and that's how my stomach went on flat, flat. So let's talk about, um, okay, let me tell y'all, teas now. Teas is also very good. Green teas. Um, also, I tried the butterfly pea flower tea. I'm going to like insert right here. This is what the tea is. I drink this every day. This tea is also very good for weight loss. And when you drink your tea, don't add no honey, no sugar, none of that no honey and no sugar just straight and i know green tea be like it don't be the best without sugar okay tea don't be the best like i like to add a lot of sugar in my tea but during my weight loss journey no sugar just straight tea so i just drank straight tea um and then i 
drink. Okay, let's get into apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is super helpful with losing belly fat. So every day with my water, I would, at nighttime, okay, let me just say, put that out there, at nighttime, I would drink, I would pour the apple cider vinegar in the top and pour that inside the water and do a few drops of lemon juice because apple cider vinegar is disgusting. I hate the way it smells, I hate the way it tastes, I hate apple cider vinegar. So if you hate it too, add lemon juice just to take away a, the, the nasty flavor just a little bit it still tastes nasty okay i'm not even gonna lie y'all it's still nasty but the lemon juice does help it like taste a little better like not taste a little better be a little more manageable and hand and like you can handle it better so apple cider vinegar and lemon juice every day at night and let's talk about cheat days okay I'm gonna be honest with y'all, like everybody's different and everybody has their own different opinions. But my opinion, when you're in the beginning of your weight loss journey, I don't recommend cheat days because I didn't have cheat days in the beginning. In the beginning of my weight loss journey, I didn't have cheat days. I, every day this is my was my eating habit, salad and water or portions of food and it's not fried foods and stuff, like everything that I told y'all in the beginning. I didn't have cheat days in the beginning, okay? So when you have cheat days, I feel like it it slows up your, it slows up the pace. Like if you're trying to lose weight fast, you, you can't have cheat days. So I don't recommend you have any cheat days in the beginning if you're trying to lose weight fast. If you're like, okay, I have time to lose weight, I don't need to lose weight fast, you can have cheat days. But if you're trying to lose weight fast, you don't need no cheat days at all at all i didn't have no cheat days at all and that's discipline right there okay discipline like i said this whole video is all about discipline because i had to have discipline and not eat sweets and to i can't have this because especially when people are around you and they're eating good like i'm like drooling like i'd be drooling over their food like like a dog my face be like oh my god that looks so good it smells so good like my nose be like a dog be sniffing it like oh my god that smells so good and that looks so good but i had discipline to be like i'm not gonna eat it i have a goal that's what you gotta put in your head like the mindset is everything no i'm not gonna eat it i have a goal and now that i lost the weight i can eat what i want because my metabolism is fast because walking um Walking a lot and drinking a lot of water can increase your metabolism, make have you, you know, so you can have a faster metabolism. So now when I eat, if I eat bad, I don't gain the weight. And I'm like, all oh, this was so worth it because now I can eat what I want. But I'm still careful because, you know, just because I lost the weight and my metabolism is fast now, I mean, I can get taken like that. It can get taken like that. It can get taken like that. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it can get taken like that. I to not have any treat days in the beginning. Towards like the end of my weight loss, like when I needed to lose like maybe 10 more pounds. No, 20 more pounds. 10 more pounds. No, 20. When I started to, when I needed to lose just 20 more pounds or 15 more pounds or 10 more pounds, I started to have one cheat day. But let me tell y'all cheat day, because just because it's a cheat day don't mean you can force it, okay? Don't mean you can have a whole big, like, you can finish the whole ice cream, okay? The whole ice cream container. Like, this is just an example. Like, I feel like when people think of cheat day, they think they can just have it all. You can't have it all. That means one little thing that you like. If I like cookies, I will have one cookie one cookie on my cheat day not cookies the whole day like because it's like that one cheat day could just bring you back to level one again it can it can you know you can lose you can gain a couple of pounds again so you can't force it on your cheat day or you're gonna gain them pounds that you worked hard to lose so that one cheat day means a small little treat that you like okay just one not a whole bunch, just one. I just want to put that out there because that's personally my opinion, okay, what a cheat day is. Don't be forcing it with the cheat days. Don't be going in with the cheat days, okay? Um. So 
I'm just gonna give y'all a review now of what I did. Cut out, cut out all the junk. Stayed away from dark liquor. Stayed away from um, sugar. Stayed away from juice, sodas. Stayed away from fried foods. Don't eat beef. I just um, ate fish and stuff. And if I, I just started eating meat again, just ate chicken. Stayed away from like breads. Breads is not good because it'd be sticking on you. Um, I walked every day, walked one hour a day. Then I started jogging. Then I started running. Running, like, and also when you're walking, let me just put that out there. Make sure you're moving your arm. I'm glad that I don't like, I didn't get like loose flat, loose fat because I lost a lot of, a lot of weight. And you know, when you lose a lot of weight, your loose skin, you would have a lot of loose skin. But I did a lot of, like, when I walk, I moved my arms. You gotta move your arms, like, you know. <laughs> move your arms move your arms like you know you can move it like this or you can move it like this when you're walking you speed walking just constantly move your arms because you want to move your whole body so I said I did not go to the gym so I also wanted to lose the weight and be toned so when you're walking you know move your body move your body when you're running run move your arms uh, that's another little tip so walking every day for an hour running every day for an hour and what else okay and the water fast super helpful water fast water fasting like my cousin did it and she lost a pound every single day also so people say what works for you may not work for other people i agree but i disagree i disagree and agree when it comes to weight loss i feel like because i watched a lot of videos about this water fasting thing and it's worked for a lot of people like drinking water all the time like what are you losing if you're drinking water all the time and if you can't just drink water if you just feel like man i can't i need something eat salad like i said i had a salad kit i would eat a salad kit and i would drink water and that's it that's the end of the day and if i was hungry and i wanted breakfast i would just eat an egg i would eat eggs well a fried egg i would make a fried egg but a boiled egg is more it's like recommended but you can eat a fried egg because i ate a fried egg and i still lost the weight so you got a fried egg add a little pepper <laughs> and salt um and what else did i do but that's pretty much all i did was walking walking every day i feel like was like really the key um to losing weight every day and not eating after eight those are the two important steps not eating after eight and cutting out a lot of stuff that has a lot of sugar and a lot of calories like there's like calorie apps and stuff but i don't i didn't really use those i just kept track of the calories so i would look at the back the back of things and see okay what's the calories of this and people always say you're supposed to have a certain amount of calories a day but i don't i didn't okay i didn't eat at the over a thousand calories a day so people say you're supposed to eat over a thousand calories a day but i didn't i just like would have salad and water and i was fine okay like look at i'm fine i'm healthy i'm okay so you don't necessarily have to have a certain amount of calories because i didn't have a certain amount of calories a day um but yeah so that's pretty much all i did to lose the weight and i really recommend y'all to try that water fast I really recommend it. I promise you that every day you'll lose a lose a pound. I promise y'all. Try it. At least try it. Try it for like at least three days and tell me if you guys lost a pound a day. Like let me know. Like comment in the description box below and let me know. Like anybody who tried it or trying it right now that's gonna try it after this video, let me know if it worked. And also let me know how no eating after eight helps also. Let me know, okay? But that's pretty much all I did. And like I said, it was not easy because like I love sweets and cutting out sweets was so hard. Like I love ice cream, I love milkshakes, I love all that. And no fast foods, that's another thing. Stay away from fast foods. Stay away from fast foods, okay? Fast foods is not good. 
stay away from stuff that's really greasy but it took a lot of discipline but like it's worth it, it was worth it because now i can eat whatever i want so once you get to your goal you can eat what you want but don't force it but you can eat what you want now so like i said y'all got this and it's helpful when you have support and have someone by your side motivating you but if you don't you have me and you're your own cheerleader and you got this like you got this even if you have to lose 100 pounds or you have to lose 150 pounds or 200 pounds like you got this just try these steps that i'm telling you get in the gym go to your personal trainer um get a personal trainer if you want or just work out on your own and also let me say this let me say on rainy days on rainy days um I don't know how people do it because I'm not running in the rain. I'm dedicated and disciplined and all that, but I'm not walking and running in the rain, sis. So on the days that it rained or it was bad weather, I would just go downstairs to the basement and ride, um, you know, one of those bikes. So you can ride those bikes or if you have a treadmill, use the treadmill or I even ran back and forth in the basement, run back and forth. And also another way, another thing that I used to tone was those um, bands, the workout bands. You can order them from Amazon, not the plastic ones. I don't like the plastic ones, the actual like the bands that helped also i would do squats with the bands i'll walk back and forth with the bands i'll put the bands around my arms so that i can you know tone my arms with the bands so do that also but yeah just because it's raining doesn't mean oh i'm not going walking it's raining out it don't matter if it's raining out you better get some workout in it don't matter you got six days to work out and one day off this is not your day off just because it's a rainy day or it's bad weather and even if you even if you have a small house or you have a small space and you can't walk back and forth or, or you don't have a treadmill or no workout equipment go on youtube and look up workout videos and do it for 60 minutes okay 60 minutes uh, whenever it's i'm just saying whenever you can't go outside and walk do don't use that as an excuse because we got a goal to achieve and bad weather can't stop your goals so you better go on youtube look up 60 minute videos or look up 30 minute videos and then find another one after that and work out for one hour a day make sure you work out one hour a day people say you work you work out you're supposed to work out you can work out three to four times a week but Mm -mm. I worked out six times a week because I needed to get to my goal fast. Like I, I wanted to get to it in a, like a small. What it took me like less than six months, maybe four to five months. It took me to it took me um to lose forty pounds. Well, what did I lose? Four well, forty eight pounds. Um, so six times a week that's what i did i was motivated okay i was motivated and i'm like i need to do this i need to do this summer's coming up too i need my stomach on flat flat i don't got no time to waste i need to get to the goal fast so when you want to get to your goal fast if you want to lose your weight fast no cheat days until you get to closer to your weight goal and working out six times a week okay not three to four times a week six times a week but y'all got this okay comment your journeys below let me know how it goes like i'm here to support y'all like you can even dm me pictures on instagram if you have any questions you can message me questions if i missed anything um you can dm you can comment your questions or message me questions like i just i feel like i love this like i love the whole like it feels good when you can help someone lose weight like i really hope i hope that all these tips that i gave y'all can help y'all because like my cousin she lost seven pounds um she's gonna be losing 10 pounds i'm gonna help her to lose like 10 pounds total since she's been here with me and like she's been so happy like she's been feeling herself better and she been like seeing that her pants are too big for her and like that makes me happy because when other people happy that makes me happy so i think i love doing this i think this may be my thing helping people lose weight because i did it and i want to help other people to do it because weight loss is it can like increase your self-esteem and also let me say this too 
like don't pay attention because like people a lot of people during my weight loss journey will be like you're too skinny or you're getting skinny like you're too skinny why are you trying to get skinny and blah 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 you was already like a good weight like i'm like don't let that stuff get to you because whatever you want to do or whatever size you want to be be that size be whatever you want to be like i didn't think this is what i want to be like i don't think i'm skinny i think um, i don't even if i'm in, if even if i am skinny like leave me alone but i don't think i'm skinny i feel like i'm the perfect weight but like people always be like oh you're too skinny now um like they just will say a lot of like smart comments but don't pay attention to the smart comments during your weight loss journey do go be the whatever way you feel comfortable being but just make sure it's a healthy weight but um yeah so that's the end of the video and like i said if you guys have any questions if i missed anything just comment and i'll answer them i'm always checking the comments and the questions and stuff but yeah so thank y'all for watching don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe and don't pay attention to the haters love yourself and if you don't want it for yourself nobody else can force you to want to to make you want it for yourself so you gotta want it for yourself all right bye love y'all